Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with the HD Home Run Premium TV service. We covered this a couple of days ago. It's a new thing that's being offered by Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run. And if you have an over-the-air box, uh, like the Quattro tuner or the Duo tuner, uh, you can get your over-the-air content with your antenna, but now you can subscribe to their service for $34.99 a month and bring in a bunch of cable channels as well. Uh, definitely check out that original video because that will give you all the details about what we're going to be talking about here. Uh, but I did get a lot of questions about Plex in the original video, and I kind of touched on Plex in that video and showed you how it works, but not how to set it up, especially if you already have the Plex DVR in operation. Now, one of the cool things about the HD Home Run Premium TV service is that it works with more than just the Silicon Dust HD Home Run software. You can use it with Plex, with the Channels app, and a bunch of other stuff as well. But there is, a, on Plex at least, some configuration that you have to think about and spend some time doing at the moment to get everything working, although my understanding is that everything you're about to see here should be fixed or corrected uh, sometime in the near future. So this is kind of an immediate uh, issue, but I think over time this will get a little bit easier. So what we're going to do uh, is boot up Plex here and show you how all of this works. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run, are an occasional sponsor here on the channel. They are not sponsoring this video, however. And I always like to say that I was a client of theirs long before they became a client of mine. I use their stuff here all the time to uh, save money on cable subscription costs, so it's been a big help here. But all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody's paying for this video, and no one has reviewed or approved this before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see how we can get Plex working with our premium TV service. So here we are on the Plex settings, and I'm over on the live TV and DVR section here. And we've got my HD Home Run Quattro detected on the network, and you can see it's found 55 channels, but only 11 are enabled. And if I click on this to see what my options are, uh, you can see that it was able to match up a bunch of my local over-the-air broadcasts. You can see I don't get all that much here. Uh, but all these cable channels are dark. Now I could select CNN here, for example, and then uh, match it up, but uh, because I did not tell Plex when I first set it up that I'm uh, using a cable system, it doesn't know what to do with CNN. So I could add it here, but it won't get any guide data. And this is the, the bad part right now about how Plex is working with the service is that uh, you do have to delete your DVR, as far as I can tell, and start over. Uh, there does not appear to be a way to change what it is looking at uh, for its guide data, which would make it a lot easier, of course, if that was the case. So um, what I'm going to do here is delete the DVR and pay close attention to the warning here. Uh, so what's going to happen is, is you're going to lose all of your scheduled recordings and the guide data. Now, obviously, the guide data is not a big deal, but uh, you definitely want to make note of all the important things that you want to record because we have to basically put them back in after we do this, unfortunately. So just bear that in mind. Again, I think they're going to uh, come up with an update that will make this a smoother transition in the near future. Uh, but the reason why you have to do this is because uh, in the past, you could buy an HD Home Run Prime, which was cable only. And if you wanted over the air, you bought the over the air antenna. And Plex doesn't really know how to separate the two things or bifurcate them into this one uh, guide here. So uh, this is why we have to do this. So we're going to delete the DVR. And now we're going to basically just start over again. So I'm going to say set up Plex DVR. It found my tuner here. I'm going to click on continue. And you can see here it's got all the channels that it can see, which includes the cable channels. But instead of selecting antenna, I'm going to select cable. And I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to give it a nearby zip code here. And I'll click continue again. And now what it's going to do is try to, as best it can, match up things. We're still going to have to do a bunch of mapping on this when it's done. So basically what we're doing is we're telling uh, Plex that we are connected to a cable system even though we have some over-the-air channels and uh, those over-the-air channels will have to manually map to their cable equivalents but when we do that uh, we should be in good shape so you can see here it's got a couple things wrong already so uh, Ion Life is mapping to just the lifetime channel so we have to go through here and just make sure we find uh, what all of the right channels are and I'm not sure if um, this might be one of those digital sideband channels. So you have to kind of go through and just make sure you know what channel matches up with what. I'm just going to disable this one for now. But I do know where ION is located on my lineup, so that one will be an easy match here. So I'm going to click on 26.1, and 
and then go over to channel 20 on my cable system. And again, we're basically kind of fooling Plex into thinking we have a regular cable connection. So what'll happen is, is that if we ask uh, Plex to record something off of ION, uh, it's going to uh, go to 26.1 on the HD home run tuners. So even though that's an over the air broadcast and not a cable broadcast, as, as far as Plex is concerned, uh, this channel equals that one, so we're good. And then you have to go through each of these and just kind of match them up to make sure everything is correct. I found that the matching here is not so great, uh, and that's to be under understood because, again, we're matching over the air to cable. Uh, so, for example, here, this channel that calls itself Justice on 67.1 over the air uh, is matching up with Juicy, whatever that is. We're going to turn that one off just to make sure we don't have anything happen there. Uh, and then again, I can go through the rest of these and just match them up to uh, the proper affiliate as I'm putting things together. But what you will see is that the cable channels did largely line up, um, but I noticed that it's not pairing up directly with the HD version of those cable networks. So I'm going to leave it as is just to see what happens because it is giving me the HD next to it. So I have a feeling this should uh, work fine when we're done. So I'm going to click on continue here and that will map everything up. Uh, the good news is that you can come back to this and remap if you get something wrong. So although we had to start from scratch on uh, getting this set up in the first place, uh, once you tell Plex you have a cable system, you can go back in and adjust the lineup anytime you want. So you don't have to delete and start over again uh, to get this to work. Uh, so now it looks like setup is complete and it's going to start initializing and creating a new guide. Uh, so we're going to let that run in the background, and when it's done, we'll come back and see what this looks like. So here we are inside of Plex and looking at the channel guide, and I want to draw your attention, let me get you a better view here, uh, draw your attention to Ion TV because you remember this is one of the channels that we mapped from the over-the-air portion of our HD home run tuner, but it's showing up in here right alongside all of the other cable networks that are coming in over premium TV. Uh, so even though Plex thinks we're connected to a cable system, uh, because we did that mapping where we said this channel is this one on the HD home run, it's going to tune this over the air channel alongside all of these cable channels. So if I go over here to play, uh, that should pop right up and we'll be able to validate that this is in fact over the air here in a second. So ION is coming up right now. It does transcode uh, because this is an MPEG-2 broadcast. So we'll just give it a second here to catch up. Uh, my NAS is uh, misbehaving this evening, so it's a little slower than it usually is with Plex. But there we go. We're up and running here. And this is, again, coming in uh, over the air. And what I'll do is just go over to my activity monitor here, and you can see we are transcoding MPEG-2 to H.264. So that tells me, because most broadcasts are in MPEG-2 right now, uh, that we are getting the uh, right broadcast here. So that works fine. Uh, so let's kill that one, and I'll go back again, and we'll take a look now. Uh, at a cable channel. So maybe we'll uh, pull up what's going on on ESPN. Actually, I'm not going to do that one because of all the copyright stuff. Let's pull up uh, USA and see uh, how that one is looking here. So we'll pull that one up. And yes, I got to clean the screen here, I know. Um, and we'll see how this one works. And there we go. USA is coming up. And as that queues up, we'll check on the transcoder status. I did find that it is transcoding even the uh, HD home run broadcast coming in from the premium service. It shouldn't have to do that, but I wonder if it's just a function of how Plex handles live TV. But you can see it's running down here in the corner. Everything is working fine. Uh, and we're transcoding that H.264 to H.264. Uh, so that's really what you do here is you got to go into that uh, setting there and make all of these adjustments, get all these channels mapped up. And then once you're done, you're done. Uh, Plex will think you're connected to cable. But again, so long as you map uh, your over-the-air broadcast to what your cable channel has for that over-the-air channel, Everything should work fine. The guide data should come in appropriately, and you're good to go. Now, you can go back to this and adjust the channel guide later, as I mentioned. So what you'll do, uh, rather than delete and start over again, uh, is you go over to uh, where it tells you the number of channels and how many are enabled. Now, you've got a gear here, a gear there. Don't click either one of those. There are two different settings options inside of this window, but this is the one right here that you want. And if you click on this, you'll have uh, exactly the same interface we saw before. So you can go back in and match everything up again and get 
all of your channels mapped appropriately. Remember, you'll probably spend some time on this trying to figure out which channel goes with what cable network, so you'll uh, take a little bit of time here just getting that to go. But once you're done, you're done, you save it, uh, you can move on, and hopefully everything will work. So that is how you get Plex to work at the moment. I do believe, again, that they're going to be updating this so that uh, it will accommodate the premium TV without having to do what we're doing here. Uh, so when that happens, I will let you know through uh, some kind of notification, maybe a community post on my uh, channel there. But in the meantime, this is how you have to do it for now. So remember, before you click on that delete DVR, make sure you have a list of all of the recording tasks that you are currently doing so you don't lose them or lose recordings because you do have to set them up again after you do this. But after that, uh, you should be fine. It will continue to work and you'll get the best of both worlds, both over the air and cable broadcast. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.